Use visual models to add and subtract two fractions with the same units, including subtracting from one whole. Let's find the value of 1 minus 3 fifths. Are the units the same? Nope. We've got 1 here, and we have fifths here. Let's rename 1 as fifths. 1 is worth how many fifths? Right, 5 fifths. What is 5 fifths minus 3 fifths? We'll have fifths still, and that is 2 fifths. Read the whole number sentence with me. 1 minus 3 fifths equals 2 fifths. Let's do another problem. This time we have 1 minus 2 thirds. Let's use a visual model, in this case a tape diagram, to help us. So we have 1 minus 2 thirds. We'll have 0, we'll have 1. And we're subtracting 2 thirds. So from 1, that's where we'll start, we're going to the left, 2 thirds. Meaning, we better go ahead and mark off thirds on our number line, and we will label them as well. So we have zero, one-third, two-thirds, and one whole, which is also worth three-thirds. Again, one is where we started, and we're subtracting two-thirds, so minus a third and minus two-thirds, which puts us at one-third. So what we did again is we took one, we renamed it as three-thirds, and then subtracting two-thirds from that, we got one-third. Okay, it's your turn. Go ahead and solve one minus three-fourths, be sure to use a visual model as well. Pause the video while you do your work. We'll start with zero and one as our whole numbers. We'll mark one on our number line. Next, we'll look at the fraction that we are subtracting, and in this case, we're working with fourths. So we'll divide our number line into fourths. Next, let's go ahead and label what our number line would be, including making one whole and renaming one whole as four-fourths. Subtracting three-fourths, count back with me. One minus a fourth is three-fourths, two-fourths, and one-fourth. So we're subtracting there. three-fourths from one whole, and we get one-fourth. So one again is written as four-fourths, subtract three-fourths, and we do get one-fourth. Did you record this number sentence along with the visual model? Let's work through this problem here. Here we have 1 minus 7 twelfths. Again, we will rename 1 as 12 twelfths. And we'll subtract 7 twelfths. In this case, we can do this work right here because our denominators then are the same. So we're still working with twelfths. And when we go 12 minus 7, we get 5. So that 1 minus 7 twelfths does equal 5 twelfths. If we were to check this work, we would use an addition problem. We would take 5 twelfths, add it together to 7 twelfths, to get 1. Let's see what that looks like on a number line. That is, let's see that to make sure that 5 twelfths plus 7 twelfths does equal 1 whole. We've rewritten it in another way. Here's 0, here's 1, we'll separate that out into twelfths, 
and we'll mark that onto the number line where we have 5 twelfths there. So add it together for 0 to 5 twelfths. So we added 5 twelfths together and then slide the rest. That's 6 twelfths, 7 twelfths, 8 twelfths, 9 twelfths, 10 twelfths, 11 twelfths, and 12 twelfths when we added 7 more twelfths. And it looks the same way in that when we renamed 1 as 12 twelfths minus 7 twelfths, we would have ended up at 5 twelfths. Here we are subtracting 3 fourths from 1 and 1 fourth. Let's start by decomposing 1 and 1 fourth into its wholes and its fractional part. So we have 4 fourths minus 1 fourth. We're going to solve this problem here in two ways. Our first way that we'll look at is if we were to take 4 fourths and 1 fourth we can go ahead and add that together to get 5 fourths. And so we've renamed 1 and 1 fourth as 5 fourths, and we subtract 3 fourths from it. 5 fourths minus 3 fourths equals 2 fourths, which, when we reduce and simplify it, equals 1 half, showing that Utilizing a tape diagram, we would have had 5 fourths, which again is broken apart into 4 fourths and 1 more fourth. And when we subtracted 3 fourths from it, there's minus a fourth, minus 2 fourths, and minus 3 fourths. And we finish labeling that as one whole there. And so our answer right there is 2 fourths, which also equals 1 half. Here's 0, here's 1, and that's halfway in between 0 and 1. For way 2, we'll start with so here is our visual model for 4 fourths. And then so as you see, when we had 4 fourths and we were breaking it apart, we would have had 4 fourths, and in this case we'll subtract 3 fourths first, and then we'll add back in the 1 fourth. So in modeling that, 4 fourths minus 3 fourths, there's minus a fourth, minus 2 fourths, minus 3 fourths, and then as we stated, we'll add back in 1 fourth. So we're left with 1 fourth and 2 fourths. And we know that 2 fourths does equal 1 half. So 1 and a fourth minus 3 fourths does equal 2 fourths, which equals 1 half. Okay, it is your turn. Please go ahead and solve this problem the two ways that we showed. Pause the video while you do your work. Here's way 1, where we took 1 and 1 fifth, we broke it apart into its holes and its fractional parts. And then we combined those holes and those fractional parts. So, renaming that 1 and 1 fifth as 6 fifths. And when we subtracted 3 fifths from that, we have fifths and 6 minus 3 is 3. So we have 3 fifths there. For way 2, we would take the 1 whole. And then so we have 5 fifths. We subtract the 3 fifths, which gives us 2 fifths, and then we add back in 
the fifth, which would be three-fifths. Showing that second one with the tape diagram, it would look like this here, where we started with five-fifths, and then we subtracted three-fifths, one, two, three, fifths, and then we added back in one of those fifths so that we ended with one, two, and three fifths right there. Now give yourself a pat on the back if you used a tape diagram for that first one, and if you didn't, pause the video while you do that work. So we had five fifths there, put it together with one more fifth, to equal six fifths, and then we subtracted three fifths from that, one, two, and three, leaving us with three fifths. So we can use visual models to subtract not only from one, but also with mixed numbers that are in between one and two. And of course, with other ones as well as we continue to learn more about working with mixed numbers and fractions. So we rename them so that we're working with like units.